back. So here's another cool patterns um, pattern using the list that I want to share with you. So let's say we have a list of numbers, okay? And what we want to get back effectively is something that squares it. So the result should look like one squared. So that's just one, two squared, that's four. Uh, this three over here squared, that's just nine. That four over there squared, that's 16. Five squared is 25, six squared is 36. And I think you get the idea. So we can we would want to call that list the squared list, um, or we can say squared um, numbers, right? Since this list is called numbers. So how do we do that? How do we turn this list into just all of these numbers squared? Um, let's figure it out. One way you would do it is you could type it out manually, but that's going to be a lot of work, right? That would mean that you would do squared numbers dot append. Uh, append is a method that allows you to add to the list. So here we have an empty list. And since we want to add something to it, let's just let's just show you what I mean. Okay. Let's say we want to add a banana in there. Okay. And let's print out squared numbers. Uh, when I run it, you can see that I've now added a banana. Let's let's throw something else in there. Okay, let's throw um, apple. Okay, let's run through it. And you can see now banana and apple are added. Okay, so append just simply adds something to the end of the list, hence append. Okay, so um, going back here, what we want to do is we want to essentially append each of those numbers squared. So how can we do that? Well, we leverage off what we learned in our last video. So we do for number in numbers. This is now going to give us numbers going to be one the first time two the next time three the third time and so on and so forth. And what do we want to do? We want to do squared numbers dot append number. And so we're appending now the number. So we're going to basically every time we go through the loop, we add one the first time, then we add two uh, from this list, and we add three but we want to actually add the squares of those numbers. So we want to do this. And now let's check out what squared number looks like. And that's it. Okay, uh, simple as that. Very good pattern to remember. And, and it works. Okay, uh, so play around with it. See if you can do something like cubing it or uh, change up this list and see if you can do something like dividing it in two every single time and then appending that so you can call it like half numbers yeah practice it out run this code i'm going to add the link of this in the in below the video or above the video so you guys can actually go directly here and play around with this all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video